So this year we're starting another experiment. I wanna see how well we can grow almonds out here in the Midwest. Now we're not as dry as say California where these are grown more often. And so almonds are more susceptible to certain fungal and, and moisture related diseases and, and issues. So I'm not sure how well these are gonna work, but that's why I wanna document this. I couldn't find very much out there. So I figured I'd run this experiment myself and share with you guys the results. So I've got three varieties of almonds and they're all said to survive our winters at least. So if they can get through the summers and not have any sorts of issues with uh, any of those moisture related issues, then they should also survive our winters. I'm zone five here, so sometimes we do get down to about negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Even this past winter, we only got down to negative five. So it's not that every winter is gonna hit negative 20, uh, but the ones that do, these are supposed to survive. So we got these planted just after that cold spell that we had here a few weeks ago that we had to try and protect things from. So they didn't have to endure that. Uh, and they've had plenty of rain and cloudy days here where they should be getting settled into the soil uh, and getting established in that way. And we're seeing some buds just start to wake up. So let's take a look at these. So the first variety I wanna talk about is our all-in-one almond right here. This one is self-fertile, so it'll handle its own pollination. Won't have to worry about that. And it is already starting to push out some growth, which looks pretty good. It does have a bit too many branches down here, so I'm going to thin this out. They did get cut back a little bit for shipping, uh, though this one definitely less than the others. So the other two varieties I've planted are both Ukrainian almonds, and they are not self-fertile. This one is Alenia, or Prima, so it has kind of two names it goes by. It's just starting to push out some growth here. And it was either cut back to not have any branches or it just hadn't branched yet. So hopefully we'll see some branches come out and we can get that vase shape we're looking for on this one. And the other one here is the Dessertney or Bounty Almond. And it has already formed some good scaffold looking branches here. I could go ahead and snip this, but I think I'll leave it now and just see how well everything forms on its branches. It looks to be just a little bit slower than the other two on putting these leaves out, but I think it's doing just fine. So the other thing I wanna do with these is wait until some of these branches grow larger, uh, push out more growth, and then they put on the new dormant buds that will be for next year's growth, probably July or August, and I'll harvest some of that. And then those I will use to do some chip bud grafting. And for that grafting, I've got this red leaf peach here and the seedlings that grow from its pits, they just grow all over the place and they grow really well in our clay soil. So I'll be harvesting a lot of these, putting them in nursery beds, and we'll do our bud grafting to these and kind of remove the variable of the, what the rootstock is from the equation of this to make sure that we have some success if we're going to. Well, if you've got experience with almonds, especially in a similar colder and wetter climate like we've got here. I'd love to know what's worked and what hasn't, what varieties you've tried in the comments. And if you haven't and you're looking to see how well this works, feel free to tag along and I'll keep you guys updated as these grow and hopefully as we get fruit. Thanks for watching.